Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a hundred pounder. Oh boy. That was a huge fish. fish here. That's a big one. All right, guys, we're back at it. We're out here on Grand Lake again. I'm with Zach and uh, Professor Spoonbill back here. And we're getting all set up right now. Um, we're kind of in the Elk River arm right now. And uh, may have to move back to sailboat because the, this year the water's been pretty cold. So they haven't quite made their way up the creek yet um, to you know get way up there when it warms up quite a bit. So we're gonna try this spot first um, and go from there. But Guys, um, I know there's a lot of confusion last year on kind of what we were doing, uh, probably from people that weren't really from this area. Um, Spoonbill really, it's what we're doing is everything was within the rules. I know we're using barbless hooks, you're snagging them. Um, we have to release the fish, bleeding or not bleeding, um, because if you if you actually harvest one, you don't, you're done for the day, you keep one. So we're just catching them, releasing them, all within the rules. and. Uh, but we're excited to be out here again and hopefully you can show you a big fish. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, we got lines out guys. We're about 90 to 95 foot. Um, as you saw the graph shot, there's Plenty down there. Randy said there's littler ones though, but um, at least they're down there. So let's see what we get. Down there near the bottom at about 26 feet. Big one. Hold a picture when I hook. Yeah, you got a man in direction. Now we're hooked up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a hundred pounder, oh boy, maybe more, maybe more. Oh, I need a belt, there we go, got a boat stand on me, oh yeah, no Oklahoma record, got him in the tail, he's gonna feel like a big dude, yeah, Oh, man. Man. Yeah. 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 Little guy, what is that, like 30 pounds, 20 pounds? He's uh, let's just weigh him and find out. I guess 25. It's a good fish. Crazy. Good start. Those eyeballs, oh, weird. <laughs> Crazy. 26, 14. Goes. Sound. Cool. Let's get a bigger one. You can kind of oh. compare them to you can see that right there. There's fish. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's a fish. We're on oh. again. Zach's on. Oh. <laughs> it feels like a big one. Let's go. Is it 27 pounds big? I think it's probably like 28. 28. All right, guys, if you didn't catch it, we moved um, to a different spot. And basically, as soon as we got here, we got within five minutes, we got hooked up. Um, I got one about 27, I think it was. And then now Zach thinks he's got one on bigger. We'll see. I think he's a little, he's struggling a little bit. It's a little bit hard to reveal him in. It makes like a big run. <laughs> about pulls me in. 
<laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some. We can do that. Oh, yeah, I don't need to work. Oh, I got a little guy. Yeah, much bigger. Yeah, he's been playing too much. That's just like the other one, isn't it? Not working his arms here. Detail again. Holy cow. Got your hat. Oh, he came off. Oh, good. Good. Not He's good. That is use. good. I need a picture. <laughs> get pictures of bigger ones. If you don't know, uh, spoonbill are actually they're harvested for their eggs, and it's kind of a it's a pretty big business here in Oklahoma. The Grand Lake um, harvest the eggs for caviar, so a lot of the caviar actually comes from Grand Lake. From from what I know, um, that's what they're the main kind of resource or the spoonbill here in Oklahoma is is the eggs um, that they that the Oklahoma Wildlife Department harvests. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's why we're you know, not really taking these. We're just catching them and putting them back, not harming them. Um, there is going to be some blood that happens when you drag a hook into a fish, to, but there's no barbs. It's not tearing anything out when you pull it out. It's just really, it, they're getting tangled up in the line. And that's the only reason that we're, they're not coming off of the boat. They're tangled up. That hook really just pops right out as soon as you, you kind of pull on it. It broke. That was a huge fish. I think it did the whole line broke. They got one on that one, Brandon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh! There was the there was the one we were waiting for all day. Everything's gone. That's pretty big, I think. I should have grabbed that pole, I guess. This they one went off where we are, right there. Oh, yeah. Back here a little bit. Oh, that was going to be a big fish. I like the first two. Uh -huh. okay. Wait for the play out. Let's see. Well, we picked the wrong pole. The other one had the big one in it, but we got That's one. That's the first time I've actually had See how one easy that line. just popped right out? There's no barbs on that, so you're not really tearing anything when you pull that hook out, which is nice. Protecting the fish. Little guy. Let's see now. Double that over and tie the knob about three feet. And then we'll run a giant treble hook up to the knot. And just round this through the shaft a few times. and make kind of a loose loop at the end. And that's how it's gonna troll through the water. There. Okay, ready to let them out. We kind of found a pretty good area and actually if you can see, right back there is kind of a where it cuts in there we've been pretty much getting everything right there um, when we troll past been smaller we had that one basically the one took off and I grabbed that pole and then the one that was bigger it broke up the line before anybody could really get their hands on it um, so at least we're catching them but we're hoping for a bigger one pretty much in the 20 pounds maybe 30 the biggest so we'll see Might be a little bigger one. 
biting and maybe tail hook. Well, that I was like uh, less than 30 seconds after putting it out. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, real quick. We really just sat down and he hooked up. I love for quite a bass like this. He's running still. He might be hooked weird. Yeah, he might be hooked back or something. Up on top already. Yeah. He's running like crazy. Is this pole still out? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bigger one? It's yeah. a little better one here. Got him right in the tail. Guy. So he's basically just lassoed. The hook didn't even really <coughs> That's not even good. touch him there. The time sometimes we're just kind of roping fish out here. Come on, put you back. He's lively. Basically just lassoed him, so he's most part pretty good. We'll put him back. Keep searching for the big dog. This is a fish. This is really heavy. I know, I've got a bad track record. <laughs> I think they're all big. It's not really pulling, it's just a lot of white. Is he on there? I mean, something's on here, it's really heavy. Could be a tree land. Oh, oh yeah. that's a good one. Let's go. Oh, he's, that's a decent one. He's wrapped up too. That's, that's the best one. All right, come here. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Get his mouth here. Come on. Okay, somebody give me a hand here. Muscle up. Grab his bill. Hold up, hold up. Let me sit the down so don't let him go. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Woo. Hey, calm down, bro. Oh, calm down, bro. He's burping. <laughs> okay, I just gotta untangle that. Oh, we got this. It should just slide. Where are we at? Keep going. It should just slide off. Feels like that. You would thought if it was a big turn, I would have started ripping drag, but maybe I had the drag set really tight. Well, that'll be that'll be our double digit if it is a spoon bill. Whoa! Got a little windy out here. Oh. About <laughs> replicated my fall down. <laughs> we moved out. We're in the kind of the L car now. We were in the Neo show. What? Is this fish on yeah. The oh, wind has picked is. up because we're getting snow tomorrow, so the fence coming in. It's getting a little windy out here. Oh, yeah, it's a cat. No, it's a little it's tiny bill. Little okay. guy. It's enough to take us into double digit territory. There we go. Number 10, though. That'll be a fun one. You can just lift him up into the boat. Yeah. And that's 65 pound line. Little guy. Oh. Boat flip. You're a little cutie. Yeah, I want to hold him. Don't toss him back. Look at that. He's like maybe three, four pounds. Maybe bigger. Maybe five. I don't know. He's cool. All right. Bye, buddy. Thank you. Hooked up. This is going to be a... I got to reel these in. They're not 
guys we made it back man it was getting really windy out there but we ended up with 12 i think so pretty good we caught a lot no real big ones that zach was pretty good size other than that but it was a good time so as always guys thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one